another episode of Amanda Starr's Celebrity Perfume Reviews. Today, I'm extremely happy to be bringing you guys my review of Dance by Shakira. This perfume launched this year, 2016, and is a whole new flank, or a whole new pillar fragrance for Shakira, um, which is, this is the first new pillar fragrance we've gotten since Rock was launched a couple years ago. So, a whole new bottle, a whole new box, everything. The box looks like this, and it says Dance Shakira, and it's got almost like this I almost want to call it like a tie-dye. I don't know if you and when you were in like younger in elementary school, if you ever did like the tie-dyes where it was like where you did the gradient. But when I was in school, we did like a gradient tie-dye, which kind of reminds me of this, where like you tie-dye one and then you tie like you dip it in colors that are very similar, and then it gradients the tie-dye. So that goes on all both sides of the box. Um, the top is white and it has the Shakira logo on it. The bottom is hot pink and it has that on it, and then the back has the promo picture for Dance, which looks like this. And then the bottle looks like this, um, and it's got kind of, it's a Shakira shape, so it's very similar to the bottle, or the image on the box. Um, but what I like about this bottle and what isn't really noticed very much, especially on the production images, is the bottle actually has like real curves. So you've got a butt and you've got boobies. Yes, I just said boobies. Um, on there like that so I and it's got like the like the dip in the back so like when I saw the bottle I literally just thought it was like this shape and it was kind of like a flat bottle but that bottle actually does have curbs um, and then it says Shakira right here and then it says dance on the back uh, and then you got kind of this chain necklace thing the only thing I don't like about this bottle is the fact that the cap is just like a just a lid um, and it's clear and there's nothing really to it I kind of wish this was chromed or, you know, metallic in some way, shape, or form, but that's just my personal opinion on this. Um, I will say before I get too deep into this review, this is probably my hands-down favorite Shakira perfume. Um, she really, really, really hit that out of the park with this one. So, the notes from Shakira's website directly are bergamot, grapefruit, mandarin, and pear. Uh, middle notes are peony, orange blossom, lily of the valley, and neroli, with base notes of wooden notes, vanilla, musk, and caramel. So, when you first spray it, I get a little bit of the bergamot and the grapefruit, adding kind of a little bit of a zest at the very beginning, but it's not super, super pronounced. I definitely am getting mandarin and pear as well. But I definitely feel like that floral heart, the peony, the orange blossom, the lily of the valley definitely are there and you can definitely smell them. Neroli also you can smell a little bit there. But it definitely does give you a very floral heart, which kind of does take over the whole fragrance. Not that that's a bad thing, but it's a very refreshing floral. Um, when I first sprayed this, it almost in a weird way kind of reminded me of Rihanna's Crush. But not they're not the same. I would just say that they're in a family together. And the way that the floral notes are done. Um, you have base notes of the wooden notes, the vanilla, the musk, and the caramel note. As it starts to dry down, I definitely do get the caramel note. Um, I've been wearing it since about noon. So about eight hours now. And I can still smell it a little bit on my wrist. It's not super pronounced, but I can definitely still smell it a little bit. Um, which this is an eau de toilette. So it's amazing to me that I can still smell it. Um, it does give a little bit more caramel as it dries down, but I definitely think it stays very floral throughout the entire fragrance. Um, it's not, like, overly sickening floral in a bad way. Um, any way, any way shape, or form, I definitely really like this fragrance. Um, the florals play really well with the fruit that's in the top and then the, kind of, the gourmand notes that are in the base to kind of create this overall, overall very fresh, feminine floral fragrance um not super floral like you know super mature or powdery in any way shape or form this definitely does the caramel and the vanilla are there and give it kind of a sweet note um but it's not overly sweet it's not overly floral it's not overly fruity in my mind it's a perfect balance of the three put together definitely like i said my favorite shakira fragrance um it is very well very well done i was very surprised with this fragrance i was not expecting it to be as nice as it is, as bad as that sounds, I just wasn't expecting it to be as nice um, as it really is. So, um, lasting power, like I said, is about eight hours. I definitely would say this is a 
spring fall fragrance um i feel like it probably would do really well in the summer um it's perfect for the weather here right now which we're bouncing between the 60s and 80s so it's definitely really good for now i do know that shakira's fragrance are kind of made more for the equator um so and i definitely can see that with this fragrance um as i feel like it would work really well in the warmer climates um it does got a pretty good projectant like Sillage, I you can smell it. I probably say about half an arm length away to maybe a full length. It's not super pronounced. Like it's not gonna be like someone's gonna know notice you when you first come up to them. Um, but they lean in to you know look at something on your phone, or if you're sitting on a computer and someone leans in to look there, they're definitely gonna um, notice what what you're wearing. Um, I wore this to work today and had people kind of lean over my shoulder a couple times today, and they said that they really really enjoyed this fragrance. So. I definitely love, love, love this fragrance. I can see myself wearing it a lot. Um, not much else, I guess. Um, as always, guys, thanks so, so much for watching. And follow me on Twitter, A the S Perfume, and Instagram, Among the Stars Perfume. Links in the description below. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, please stay tuned in the upcoming week. I will be, like I promised you guys earlier, you guys will be getting a Shakira block of reviews. Um, I will be reviewing um, Magnetic Elixir, Pop Rock, and I do have both of the Summer Rocks, Fruity Vibes, and Sweet Candy. I will be getting those reviews up hopefully this week. Um, so please stay tuned for those reviews. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Bye.